Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all professors here. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for the invitations and then the opportunity so I can be here and discuss about my research project. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Christine Dewi. I come from Satyawacana Christian University, Faculty of Information Technology, Indonesia. Uh, today, I would like to share about my research experiments, my research experience so far so about the study of object recognition based on YOLO models. This is my outline of my discussion today. First, uh, about the introduction, I will share about the history of YOLO models. Uh, I think all of us already know what is YOLO and then uh, how to implement YOLO models. Maybe some of you already implement YOLO models in your research. So we can discuss together in this uh, session. And then next is about the research on YOLO models so far based on my experiments, my research experiments. Another one, we will talk about data set, um, about the data set that I uh, provided by my research and I make it some of my data set online. So another research can use the data set. I will also uh, explain about the research improvements that I, that I already done in my research so far. So I hope that it can give you the idea how to improve your research based on the YOLO models. Another one is of course about the future research, the future direction research about me and then maybe about the collaborations research. And finally about the conclusions. Let's start with the history of the YOLO models. If you can see in the figures, this one is the YOLO object detection models timeline. Uh, as all we know that YOLO models, you only look once already developed. It's very straightforward. Yeah, it's very popular models and then many researchers in the world try to improve the performance of YOLO models. That is why the, they have a progressive improvements. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it is start from 2015. It released the YOLO version one. And then in the next year, 2016, it's come up with the YOLO version two or YOLO 9000. In the next two years, in 2018, it uh, come up with the YOLO Fashion 3. And in 2020, they have the YOLO Fashion 4, YOLO Fashion 5, the BB YOLO, the Scale YOLO Fashion 4. And in 2021, it have the YOLO X, YOLO R, YOLO S, the BB YOLO Fashion 2. And in the next year, 2022, it has the YOLO version 6, YOLO version 7, the PP YOLO E, and then the, the AMO YOLO. Finally, the latest one in 2023, it has the YOLO version 8. Maybe during this uh, timeline, you can see they have a many fashion and many names of YOLO. Because of why? Because many community in the world, yeah, many researchers, maybe you can find it in the GitHub, in the YouTube, in the Google. There's many community of YOLO or company. They want to improve the performance of YOLO and then they start to make their own name based on the YOLO. But if we can see the official YOLO release, yeah, it uh, it also come out with the paper, usually not only the uh, code, but it is proved by the paper publication. During the implementation with YOLO, yeah, you can easily find many tutorial, yeah, many tutorial, and then step by step how to install YOLO, how to implement YOLO in many cases. 
if you search uh, many publications, they also research YOLO in any aspect of uh, study case. Yeah, you can implement YOLO in many things, not only for the, uh, of course, it's still in the computer vision with the uh, image pre preprocessing for the object detection or object recognition, but it can, it can implement in many cases, yeah. Uh, and then if you find some errors, you also can discuss in the community because many people will help you. Many people will help us, for example, when I try to implement the YOLO model at that time and then I don't know how to install or I find some error, okay? I, I can ask in the Stack Overflow or in the Google or in the community and somebody else will will ensure me, yeah, will help me to solve my problems. That is why it is also affected the growth of the YOLO models. It's very interesting uh, following the development of YOLO since the YOLO version 1 until YOLO version 8. And then so far, this is my research on YOLO models. I start to implement the YOLO version 2 at that time. Uh, and then uh, I do some improvements, of course, because YOLO, uh, YOLO models is the model that's already there, and then they have the uh, setting parameters for the neural network, and then the implementation is already there. If we want to publish paper based on the models that are already there, so we need to do the combinations, we need to do the modification. Yeah, so we can show what is our major contribu uh, contribution, okay? And then so far, this is my uh, publications with the YOLO models and with uh, YOLO version two. For example, uh, I do some improvement and combination with the deep convolutional generative adversarial network and then ResNet 50. And then SPP, SPP is the spatial pyramid pooling. It is like another algorithm. So I combine in the YOLO version two layers. And for the deep convolutional YOLO generative adversarial network. Another one for the YOLO version three, okay. Uh, I also published many papers about YOLO version three. And then I do some improvements, like I create the Taiwan traffic sign data set. This one is for my dissertation last time, for my PhD uh, dissertation. And I also do like the parameter analysis and then the weight analysis and combine with the spatial parameter pooling. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, uh, many people uh, didn't care about the weight, they just, they just know that after training and then provide the weight. But I do some analysis and then try to find what is the difference between the best weight, final weight, and last weight. This is also in uh, one of my research that uh, I analyzed in depth about the weight analysis that provided by Darknet at that time. And then I also do uh, the comparison with the tiny YOLO V3 SPP and then DenseNet again and ResNet. DenseNet and ResNet is a model of the classification model and then it needs the backbone. The backbone is your YOLO version 3. And for the DenseNet and ResNet, it has different layers like ResNet 50, ResNet 101. DenseNet also different. It has the calculation of their neural network. Another research also focus on the color and shape detection. It is used for the uh, detect the small traffic sign recognition based on the spatial pyramid pooling. So I combine the colors and shape detection. I will I will try to explain uh, what is my improvement in in the next slide. Okay. Another research about the YOLO version four. Yeah, this is the YOLO version 4. I do some improvement with the many type of generative adversarial network, okay? Uh, actually, for the GAN, I think it's also a very famous uh, method because you can 
um, uh, enlarge your data set. You can provide, you can create your own image data. You can create a synthetic data, synthetic image. Yeah, Because sometimes it's very difficult for us to get the original image, for example, yeah, for example, in Taiwan at that time, in Taiwan sign, you usually have a unique characters like a Mandarin sign, right? Now, uh, to collect the original image at that time, it's very difficult because uh, I think for one class, we need around 200 to 400 image, a real image. So another solution is you can try to generate the image with the generative adversarial network to create a synthetic data. It is used for enlarge your data set, okay? If you just have a small data, of course, your, your training will be uh, not optimum, not uh, maximum, okay? So if you have a large data, it can improve the performance of your uh, models, yeah? It means that computer can learn many kind of image, not only for the good image, but also the bad image. The bad image, it means that uh, you not only to get the image from the front side, but also from various angles. Okay, because in the real time, in the real situation, the image is not only just uh, just look from from face, but it also uh, affected by the various the various uh, angle. There is one here. There's many type of GANs that we use for the deep convolutional GAN and then the least square GAN and then the Wasserstein GAN. Okay. It's still the same combined with the spatial pyramid pooling with your low version 4 and then combined with the cross state partial network. Uh, we also do the, the data set improvements yeah, at that time using the people playing musical instruments data set. The data set improvements, this one is the uh, another data set that we are improved for the face mask data set and the medical mask data set. And the combination is the YOLO version 4 combined with the GSP and SPP, the cross-state partial network and spatial pyramid pooling. This is for the data set improvement. And another one is the image clipping. And we also provide another data set for the image flipping. Usually, when the data augmentation process, yeah, for the data augmentation, we do the data preprocessing, like a uh, size. We can change the size. We can rotate the stuff. We can rotate, yeah. For example, like ten degree, twenty degree, and. It image, image flippings like horizontally and then vertically or both of them. It also, it, the name is the image enhancements or the data augmentation process. For the YOLO version 5, we experience in the, we provide the new Taiwan road marking sign data set. So we not only focus in the traffic sign, but we also focus in the road marking sign and we divide it by two. It's for the daylight and then at night. We make the separate data set, okay? And then we provide this data set online so another researcher can improve the performance of our research. We also combine with the data enhancements. It's called the contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization for recognizing road marking, road marking at night based on the YOLO models. This one, and then the contrast stretching. Yeah, so we try uh, many types for image enhancement. Another improvements we try uh, many models of YOLO version five. Yeah, for example, is they have the version of nano, small, medium, large, and extra large. 
So we try all the model with the different epoch and then we analyze the models one by one. And then for YOLO version 7, yeah, we use the, uh, we implement the data set improvements and try the uh, different type of YOLO version 7 and YOLO version 7X. And then another one is the combination of the data set and the YOLO version 7X with different epoch. This is the data set that uh, we produced by our research. The name is Taiwan Eyeblink data set, Taiwan Traffic Sign data set, and then we also have the PTSD data set. This one is the Belgium Traffic Sign data set, and this one is the TS data set for fourth class, the road sign data set in the daylight, and the road sign data set in the night. We make all this data set online. This is the link. So uh, all researchers in the world or maybe professor and students here want to improve the performance of our research can refer to this data set. And then I will uh, try to explain more about the research improvement made by our research group. The first one is about the, the papers title is the evaluation of robust spatial pyramid pooling based on the convolutional neural network for traffic sign recognition system. And the XPP layers in network structure, we can see it in the figure two. Yeah, this one is the SPP layer. This one is the block of SPP. So it means that uh, this SPP will insert to the, for example, the YOLO version three yeah, the YOLO version 3 configuration file. And then we will cut this and then insert to that one. But we need to be careful when we modify the, the network because if we put it in the wrong way, uh, the, the, it will be error. Now, let's see. This is the several advantages of SPP. The first one, SPP is provide a fixed length result and the input image can be of all size. The SPP operates the multi-scale space while the pooling of sliding windows use just one window. SPP allow us to produce image of arbitrary size for testing and enables us to supply images of varying dimensions and size during the training process. To reduce effort fitting, we can train with several images that are set to unchanged size. And SPP is a manageable answer for managing aspects ratio, diverse uh, scales, dimensions, and size. So this is the example, uh, the improvement, the combination that we are provide the YOLO version 3 with the spatial pyramid pooling architecture. This one for the original image and then put it in the SPP model. Yeah, because in YOLO version 3, the SPP is located in the head of the YOLO version 3 configuration file and then put in the modules, try to find the bounding box and then output the class probabilities. We will show the detection and recognition result. Another improvement is about the uh, the paper's titles is combination of deep cross stage partial network and spatial pyramid pooling for automatic hand detection. As all we know that now, the hand detection is very important because we can use for the gesture detection, activity detection, and then for uh, many applications with the hand detection. Yeah, like you can detect okay and then one, two, three, four, five number detection using the hand. Okay, that is why uh, we, we research about the hand detection. And the GSP network is designed to reduce the computational cost by reducing the number of channels in each layer while maintaining the performance of the network. 
The CSV network is also designed to increase the information flow between different layers, which help to produce more accurate results in object detection and segmentation class. So this is the system architecture of YOLO version for CSV SPP. As we can see the input image, and then this one is the YOLO version for uh, uh, CSP SPP. We can see the big one is the .NET 53. This one is the NET. Okay, the combination of the cross-state spatial network and then spatial pyramid pooling and pan network. The dense prediction is YOLO version 3. This one can predict 1, predict 2, and predict 3 because YOLO version 3 predict in the three different uh, network the location is different and the size is different and we're doing the class prediction and show the detection result in that paper we test the performance using the oxford hand data set yeah this one is our experiment okay we try the csp the cross state partial network and then submit at or uh, combine with many models. Yeah, for example, uh, TensorNet YOLO version 2 and then TensorNet 50 YOLO version 2 and then YOLO version 4. Okay, and then YOLO version 5. And we can see in here, after all models combine with the CSV, the result will be higher the result is higher. So TSP can improve the performance of its modeling experiments. And when compared the performance of uh, Oxford hand data set detection among the various methods, the methods your location for CSP SVP, this one is outperformed, or this one is the best performance compared with another research. Okay. Another research, uh, this one is the uh, robust detection method for improving small traffic stand recognition based on spatial pyramid pooling. Okay, so uh, in, in this one, I try to explain uh, based on my research paper publication, but I cannot explain all of the paper if uh, if the students or professor are interested about this research, can refer to this link. Okay, I provide the link so you can read in detail what I'm doing in the research. And then maybe if uh, any students or professor want to discuss more about the research, and we can we can share it. We can do it together. And in this uh, color-based detection method, we can see this one is the max red, max red and blue, and then blur and then blur binary, close, error, and delay. This one is the color-based detection method that we use in our experiment. And for the color-based detection step, this one is the original image, the max red, and blue, and then blur, blur binary, close, error, and delete. After that, we do the feature extraction to get the sign, yeah, because this one is the small sign. So we need to make an algorithm to cut or to do the feature extraction. And this one is the color detection step. After that, the input image from feature extraction, put it in the SPP. And this is the method uh, with the detection and recognition result. And we will show the result, okay? This one is the uh, detection result. And then we also uh, divide it by the size. Yeah, the size is small, medium, and large. And we will show for each sign in the uh, picture. This one is the YOLO version 3 SPP architecture that combined with the color and shape detection. 
the comparison of detection accuracy for the approach, yeah, this target for small, medium, and large target. This is the method, okay, using the PTSD data set. This one is the Belgium traffic sign data set. The combination of our method can improve the performance of small, medium, and large model in the experiment compared with the previous research. Yeah, this one is the data set that we are using in this research in the experiment. And another research improvement is for the uh, research called the YOLO Fashion 4 for advanced traffic sign recognition with synthetic training data generated by various scan. If we can see in here, this one is the data preprocessing. This is training DC scan, training W scan, training LS scan, and this is the real image and synthetic image. The detector was the YOLO version 3, version 4, classifying image with the plus label. For the research improvement, we have the synthetic image generation by the uh, different type of scan for the DC scan, W scan, and LS scan. We we create a synthetic image from the real image. This one is real, and this one is synthetic. Okay, so we make a different data set for its uh, models, and this is the synthetic image generated by WCAN with different size. For example, this one is with WCAN, the size is 32 times 32, and this one is 64 times 64. And the original image and synthetic image also, uh, we do the evaluation with the SSIM and the mean square error, the similarity uh, function and for the mean uh, square error calculation. This is the result, yeah, the training performance result. This is our improvement, okay? We make a different setting for each data set. The data set will be compared with this one is the original image, okay? The original image and then original image with DC scan, original image with LS scan, original image with W scan. So, because we want to know what is the benefit when we have uh, improve our data set with synthetic data. Yeah, that is why we make some setting experiment and then uh, training again with the YOLO version 3 and YOLO version 4. This one is the testing accuracy result performance. So based on the experiments, the uh, original image with the LS scan have the best performance so far. If you interested to read more about this research, you can refer to these papers, okay? And we can discuss further about this one if maybe any students or professor want to improve the, the research result about this. Okay, so another improvement again in the, about the recognizing road surface traffic sign based on the YOLO models considering image flip. This one for the no flip, yeah, the no flip, YOLO, T4 no flip, okay, and then tiny no flip. This one is the uh, original image, and this one is the process of the flipping, yeah, the flipping can be the horizontal flip and then vertical flip, yeah, or both of them. It is the figure two, this is the example. Yeah, what is the difference? Because uh, in the YOLO, when we have a sign, for example, like turn left and turn light, it, it is become the different class, two class different, okay? There is why flipping is very important. We want to do flip or not. Because if we, uh, if we classify as a one class in the YOLO default, configuration it will flip automatically yeah so left and right will be the same so we don't want like that so we do some modification in our parameter with the no flippings experiment so uh, the ex 
examining a result of the performance, we can see that the yellow patient for no flip achieved the highest performance. And this one uh, is the road marking sign uh, recognition result. We also provide our data set in this research and make it uh, online. Another research yeah, for the automatic medical face mask detection based on the CSP network to combat the COVID-19. So for the input image, yeah, this one is the backbone, the yellow version for CSP SPP, this is the combination. And then we also combine the two data set. Yeah, the two data set I uh, will explain in the next slide. This one is the combination of CSP and SPP architecture. This one is the combination of the medical uh, mass data set and the face mass data set. Okay, the medical mass data set have three class, bad, good, and known. And the face mass data set, it has the marks where incorrect with marks and without marks. So these two popular data set we combine become one. So our research will be uh, large, the data set will be large. So this is the previous research comparison based on the proposed method, the FMT and MMT data set, YOLO P4, the CSP, SPP. The result is 99.26%. Okay, and this one is the highest compared to the previous research. And another research is the contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization for recognizing road marking at night based on the YOLO models. This one, we try many models, start from the YOLO version 2 until YOLO version 5. Okay, we try the contrast stretching histogram equalization and then the CLAHI method for the contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization. This and then recognize road marking at night. That is why this, this scene is all we take the picture and video at night. This is the example of image enhancement method. Yeah, during the original image, contrast stretching, histogram equalization. This one is the CLAHI. As we can see in the night, there's many challenges, right? Because sometimes the sign is not clear or blurred. That is why uh, we do some image enhancement method to make the signs clear. Another research improvement with the deep learning for highly accurate hand recognition based on YOLO Fashion 7 models. This is the example for the hand detection, okay? And this is the YOLO Fashion 7 architecture. And we use or we implement in the Oxford hand data set. This is like the continuing new research before I already researched on this. And I continue with the new models, the YOLO Fashion 7 and YOLO Fashion 7X. And the EPO is 100 and 200. This one is the previous research comparison on the Oxford hand data set and this method. Yeah, it's provide the highest accuracy, 86.3%, yeah, in the YOLO version 7. And it uh, have the good accuracy with the optimum performance. Another paper, this one is for the face marks, uh, uh, face marks identification with the YOLO patient seven. Uh, at that time, we uh, joined uh, one conference in Sydney, Australia, and I get the excellent oral presentation certificate at that time because I present on March, yeah, on March 2023. Uh, I also surprised but because we're using the new models, YOLO Fashion 7 is a new models and uh, not we cannot find research in YOLO Fashion 7 because it's already published, right? Because now 
it is a yellow fraction A. Yeah. That is why I get this uh, excellent oral presentation certificate. Maybe uh, one of them is because my idea is a new method, new algorithm, and then the case also for the face mask identification. And then what is my future uh, research? Uh, I'm still doing the project collaboration with Chaoyang University of Technology with Professor Rong Jing Chen. This is our uh, project title yeah, for the road marking sign identification under various environmental using transfer learning with deep convolutional neural network. And we also do the various angles of face doing face reconstruction and emotion generation with its application based on the deep learning. And what next? I will try to explore the YOLO version 8. Yeah, this is the link. Maybe some students and professors also want to implement. Uh, they also have the YOLO uh, NAS. Yeah, uh, I will try. Yeah, I will try this kind of the model for my next uh, research. I already tried some yeah, for the YOLO version 8, and this is the result of the training, but uh, the result is still not finished, okay? So I will keep doing this, and also we'll focus on the multi-class image classification using transfer learning, yeah? I uh, will try to continue this research, and using the data set focus in the night yeah because we already have a certain data set we already have a public data set so i will try to improve the result of this uh, research so my conclusions yolo model still has a great opportunities and uh to be research yeah YOLO can be integrated with any model, algorithm, method, and detects various objects. We can use a variety of free open sources to study and develop the YOLO models. YOLO research has a high chance of being published in a reputable journal and site by various researchers around the world. As a young researcher start from 2018 yeah, until now, uh, my research have a high citation, and now it's already around, uh, I think when I check today, it's 1014. So it means that if you research about this kind of topic, yeah, uh, they have a high, high chance probability that your research will be studied with another researcher in the world because anyone also, also research about this. Okay, uh, this one is my case editor. This, this is also the part of the collaboration. We have a three uh, paper in the applied science, big data and cognitive computing and electronics. Maybe the students or professor want to submit a paper can contact me or Professor Rong Jing. We would like to have. This is my website, so if, if uh, the students or professor want to see what is my project, what is going on with me, my research going on, and then want to discuss more about the research uh, collaboration, because I'm really open about any collaboration, please contact me. We can discuss further. I think that's it about my um, discussion today. Thank you so much for your listening.